Ready to order? Uh, yeah, I'll have the triple deluxe burger, extra cheese, set of onion rings. You want some grease to go with that, too? You sure I can't interest you in a salad? Well? Could you repeat that? So, something about a salad? We've got a new salad today, unless you're all carnivore. Uh, I used to be until somebody came along and gave me a reason to take care of myself. Uh, I'll just take the salad. <sighs> Get a grip, Balsam. It wasn't her. Hey. You okay? Yeah, fine. Glad you could make lunch. Me too. So? So? Brody's proposal. Did you give him an answer? Oh, Natty, hey! Congratulations! <laughs> Seriously, I'm just, I know you and Brody will be really happy together. Or not. Is there something you know that I don't? Move over! <laughs> what? Okay, why? Just do it. Do you want to tell me why I just did that? Yeah, so you can't leave. Now, you are not getting out of this booth until you tell me why you, a woman with a new shiny ring on her finger, is looking like her dog just died. I went to Rhodey's. Just came from there. I went to see John. You are seriously a glutton for punishment. I couldn't let someone else tell him that I was engaged. So you told him and he let you have it. Okay. Um, my salad's gonna be here in a minute. Help yourself. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To kick McBain's teeth in. This shouldn't take long. Rex, no! Okay, this is between John and me. So I'm just supposed to stand by and watch him treat you like dirt? He didn't. He congratulated me. But you're upset. Is this because he didn't try to talk you out of it? Wait a minute. You saw John last night, too. Yeah. After I left you, I went to Rhodey's. OK. Well, I needed a place where I could just, you know, clear my head. And... When I got there, John was with Roxy, and they were talking about me. So let me guess you eavesdropped. Like you wouldn't have done it. Duh. OK, so tell me, what did you hear at this random bar that just happens to be owned by your ex? Roxy was, uh, was pushing John about still having feelings for me. And then, you know, he avoided the issue. And then she finally just asked him, point blank, do you still love Natty? What did he say? No. Is that why you said yes to Brody? It seems like even last night you were having commitment issues. Does it look like it now? I know you said yes, but... What? I don't see it in your eyes. I'm happy, Rex. I'm happy. Brody and I are making a really, really good home for our son. But your heart is somewhere else, with someone else. You're wrong. It's over. Okay, so, so you're telling me that if John walked through the door right now and asked you to not go through with it, you'd still marry Brody? John's not going to do that. I, I'm just saying, if he did... It doesn't matter, OK? Brody and I have a family. John and I don't. No matter what my dreams keep telling me. What dreams? It's nothing. It's not a big deal. I just dreamt that I opened up Liam's paternity test again, and this time John was the father. And you don't think that means anything? It was a dream. Well, sometimes people dream things they wish were true. Some people do that even when they're awake. Are you still seeing Gigi? We're talking about you. And it seems to me like you're still wishing that John was Liam's father instead of Brody. Don't you think that's kind of a leap? Do you? Look, do not marry somebody, Natty, just because he's close enough, OK? You need to hold out and wait for what you really want. Mark, I've spent too many years waiting for things to be perfect. And you know what I figured out? Life is not perfect. It is messy and unpredictable. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. So I just continue to 
waste a lot of time trying to find this perfect situation that doesn't exist. Or I can say yes to a guy who cares about me and cares about our son. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. I just want... You deserve the best, Natalie, okay? But hey, you know more about what's best for you than I do. I don't know where I get off giving advice anyway. The guy who sees dead people. This should be your chance, you and Gigi. You should be married, raising your kid together. We're so close. We almost had everything we ever wanted. And then Jack Manning came and took it all away. I'm a bad sister. What are you talking about? Because I should... The last thing you need to be hearing about is marriage. Especially when Gigi was on her way to your wedding. Gee. It's unfair. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought this up. It's just I feel like I can't... I can't do any of this without your blessing. You've got it. Thank you. It's more than what I got from Dad. Who knows how Mom's gonna react. In fact, you might be the only guest at our wedding. I will be there. Don't worry. Save me a seat in the front row. Thanks. I should get to work. Lunch is on me. Consider it an engagement present. Don't worry. Well, I kind of wish I'd gone for the cheeseburger, but it was... Is this really happening again? Excuse me? Did you just ask me a question? Just wanted to know if you enjoyed the salad. Right, uh, yeah, it was okay. I'll pick this up whenever you're ready. Thanks, guys. It's been like forever since I've done that. <laughs>